Oh, he was a character. He was. Gary Gary was, was a character too. Oh, never. Yeah. I'll never forget the first time I ever met him. You know, as he he was working. This is the true story. Now, is my wife's daddy owned a little gas station right across the street from the West Texas Gymnasium on Fourth Avenue, Fourth or whatever Avenue, yeah. it was. And the first time that I met Dusty was that he got a job working at, for my father-in-law at that gas station. Oh. So I'd come in there to get gas and I was, I was a, I don't know, a junior or something like that and I had an old 65 Ford Galaxy at the time. <laughs> and I'd come driving in there and Dusty would be out there with that gas pump and at that time, you know, you had your service station attendant. Right, yep. He was a service station attendant. He'd come out there and he'd put the gas deal in there and he'd say, say to me every time when I'd come home there, they, I sure do like that car of you. There's one of these days I'm going to have one just like that. He said, they'd have a car just like that. And hell, it was a 65 Ford Galaxy, you know. He's telling me, Hey, they, baby, that's a real nice, tweet-looking car in there. <laughs> that was. It was. Uh, the car got me around. Lit? A lot of miles, yeah. When we were talking about Dusty, I, I knew that the, most of the guys at West Texas State came to your dad. Uh, when, when they wanted to be Dusty in the was a sissy. Well, yeah, no, we knew Dusty. Uh, was, uh, he was a he baseball was, player. Oh, I used he to was a baseball his player. Ass up on the line every damn day. He'd go ahead. He was such a wuss. Oh, Terry, don't go ahead and hit me so hard. <laughs> to just play it easy, Terry. Let's just play like we're playing every play here. You go ahead and you keep on doing that shit, Terry, because I can't take you whipping my ass to every play on the line there. He says, they're going to take me off scholarship. I said, you shouldn't have been on in the first place. Scholarship in the first place. There I went. I almost said a, I said, I almost said a bad word. You shouldn't have been on a scholarship in the first place, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, but he had enough common sense that even no, though he, was, I didn't he had common sense because, listen, <laughs> the guys that trained through your dad and you got into business like Frank and Stan and Bobby Duncan and, and you know, yeah, Dusty didn't go that route. He went over and, like you told me, he showed up in some place and told him he was trained by you guys in Boston somewhere. How he got into business. The guy. Oh, yeah, he went up to Boston yeah. and went got into business. He couldn't get into business there. Yeah. We wouldn't smarten the asshole up. That's it. You wouldn't, he went, that's the only one you guys wouldn't smarten up. Yeah, Dusty. he was the only one. <laughs> Virgil Reynolds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, he, so he had enough common sense to go. He was what, minor league baseball player? That's what yeah, he was doing. Yeah, he was, he was playing, he's a good baseball player. Well, he was a great baseball player. Yeah. He was playing minor leagues up in Boston. He told me he showed up at the damn good show. And he told the promoter that he got trained by Dory Fox Sr. And they put him in the main event. <laughs> he was in the main event that night. Yeah, yeah, then he came back down there, you know, and he went in and said, Hey, he says, I'm, I'm in the business. <laughs> I said, what? I'm in the business. I want to come in the dressing room. I said, okay, but then before he went in the dressing room, I went in and I said, you stay out here a minute. I went in the dressing room and I told all the guys, this guy isn't smart here. <laughs> hey, baby, you know. So he sat in the corner in the dressing room. <laughs> nobody, nobody talked to him. Nobody said a word. <laughs> that was the greatest thing. I mean, these guys, back the guys. No, 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 I want to tell you something. We make fun of him all the time and everything. Oh, one of the most charismatic guys that was ever in the business, wasn't he? Yeah, it was. Hey, he could do it. He could do it. He could draw. He could draw money. He could draw that money. Mouth. Yeah. yeah. But you know, yeah. The, and we well, loved him. He and I both loved him. Yeah, it's been almost twenty some years of my life for him. I mean, he booked me everywhere. everywhere twenty. <laughs> you know, everywhere he was a booker, he brought me in. To How was it whenever you went ahead and woke up in the morning? Whenever he was on the other side of the bed, <laughs> it, it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> he used to tell me when I put, when you guys said that. Man, you really wake up with him every morning. No. <laughs> I didn't know that you were that way. Or he was no, you be quiet, man. man you had Patterson is better looking than him. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Hell, yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget, me and Bessie were going to Albuquerque one time, you know, we drove over to Albuquerque, and that was the deal, you always bought your, never drank before man. No, never. Nobody ever drank before man. Yeah. That was one of the rules that almost every guy, I mean, I can't think of a guy that I've worked with that was drunk in a ring with me or been drinking. Um, they had more respect for the business right. than that. But afterwards, we get that beer on the way home, you know. Right. And Dusty and I went ahead and we got ourselves a case of beer apiece, you know. And we were going to drink that beer on the way back from Albuquerque. And we had this little midget in the back seat with us. And if you, uh, Cowboy Bradley. Cowboy Bradley. Yeah, an old Cowboy Bradley, little Cowboy Bradley. He was in the back seat, and so Dusty and I started drinking, and I guess we were drinking a little too fast, but it's 280 miles from Albuquerque to Amarillo. Yeah. So at about the 200 mile marker, well, me and Dusty had had it, you know, trying to impress each other with how much beer we could drink, and we got uh, a little too inebriated, so all we had was Cowboy Bradley in the back seat there, you know, so. Yeah. Dusty took off his cowboy boot and we stuffed a couple of beer cans down in the cowboy boot and, and uh, put that boot on one of his feet, to, uh, made like a leg extension there where he could reach a gas pedal and put the midget behind the, the car there, wheel. And me and Dusty got in the, you know, I got in the back seat and Dusty is in the front seat or whichever, you know. And, and that midget somehow went ahead and made his way home. <laughs> You'd be driving that thing like that with that car out there. That's a, that's a true story. Oh, <laughs>